case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States tackled the balancing act between protecting a fair trial and upholding freedom of speech in 1991 with the case of Gentile v. State Bar. Amidst a high-stakes trial, defense attorney Gentile found himself caught up in a legal battle of his own after making public statements about a case he was representing. At the heart of the lawsuit was Rule 177, a regulation in Nevada that placed limitations on what lawyers could publicly disclose about ongoing trials, in view of ensuring trial fairness. He aimed to counteract damaging information that the police and prosecutors had released, fearing it would tarnish his client's reputation and potentially sway the jury. However, this move resulted in Gentile finding himself in hot water for allegedly violating Rule 177. The Nevada Supreme Court sided with the disciplinary board's decision, suggesting Gentile's statements could likely prejudice the criminal trial's outcome. Despite Gentile's client being subsequently acquitted of all charges, the attorney still received a private reprimand for breaching Rule 177. Gentile, however, wasn't ready to remain silent on the matter. He took the fight all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States, steadfastly maintaining that his comments constituted protected speech under the First Amendment. In a decision that marked a momentous win for Gentile, the court agreed that attorneys' extrajudicial statements about ongoing proceedings should be safeguarded under the First Amendment. Ruling in favor of Gentile, the court illustrated its commitment to upholding constitutional rights even amidst delicate matters of judicial proceedings. The interpretation of Rule 177 by the Nevada Supreme Court was dismissed as overreaching and void for vagueness, as it restricted lawyers' freedom of speech beyond what was necessary for protecting significant governmental interests. The decision provided critical scrutiny over blanket rules restricting defense attorneys' speech and affirmed that disciplinary rules cannot punish First Amendment-protected activity. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.